I want to take a minute to talk to you about sodium. Uh, sodium is a very critical part of managing heart failure, but it's very confusing for most patients and for most of us, to be frank. In America, 85% of our diet reflects sodium that's already in the food, not added by you when you're having meals, but already in the food. In general, the way to think about how to manage your diet with sodium is one, remove the salt shaker from the table, two, eat close to a farm. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, eat minimally processed food. For example, if you need deli meat for the week, instead of buying deli meat at the store, which often has a high sodium load associated with it, buy a chicken breast and bake it for the week and slice it up to have deli meat. The final thing to be aware of is you need to treat your diet the way you treat your checkbook. You record everything when you write a check. You record what you spend. You need to record what you consume. You'll find for the first two months, this may be challenging and difficult, but at about four weeks, you'll begin to do this intuitively. You'll know when something is high sodium and when something is low sodium. More critically, at two months, your taste buds will acclimate to the lower sodium load. Now, why does it take two months to acclimate? In general, as we age, our taste bud density begins to go down. So we have fewer taste buds, I do at 56, than I would have 20 years ago. Because of that, we gravitate intuitively to higher sodium load foods because they taste more palatable to us. Again, at two months, two to three months, you'll make that transition quite well. You may be angry for the first eight weeks, but you'll do better on a long-term basis. And I encourage you to work with our nurses and our staff to help you achieve this, achieve this critical goal.